Sounds like we're getting it. Right. She's just calling in right as we speak. Want me to test it? What's the problem? Is there a 1 800 number? For Dad, there is, yes. We have a little bit of city. Okay, everybody, let's call the meeting to order. We'll get started here. Sure, a little bit of late. Very important meeting today as uh, we welcome some new members and we see some old members off that have done a lot of work for our club for three to six years. So. We will get started. And what I'd like to do first is it welcome our newest board members, Metallica Breckenridge, Metallica, Ken Bancroft, and Mr. Knowles. <laughs> so Nuke was elected as well for another three-year term. So congratulations. Thank you. To you yeah, welcome. Yeah. So, so is it true that we have three returning members, three returning directors? Yes, we have. Uh, yes, yeah. All, yeah. Former, all former. Hey, good pickup. Just oh, different types. Cal told me. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, good. So when you, I'll ask everybody to introduce themselves a little bit, say a little bit about them, maybe to them when they were on the board and mm -hmm. what different ideas they have to bring forward this year. So I'll start with Ken. You know, thanks very much, uh, Mr. President. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I was on the board at, uh, ten years ago. I'm not sure I remember ten years ago very well, but uh, it was. Uh, uh, I think the la my last year was 2006, and uh, at, at that time, at the time we came on, it, we were just at the cusp of developing a, a, a new golf course facility uh, uh, and rolling out the, uh, the old greens and the new ones were, were starting to come in. Um, and at that time, John Atchison said, uh, uh, what the board really needs to be about is governance. It should really be a, a function of setting policy. It should be, its function should be setting policy and not managing day-to-day -day things. And, you know, I, I hear this again uh, today, and I think uh, most generations of boards have come through that experience. And so I think it's, uh, it's a constant challenge uh, that uh, the boards face, probably in, in this kind of space too, uh, which is the uh, a volunteer uh, the, the type of, of board facility, uh, and uh, and it, we've got we've got 468 uh, people uh, that uh, have an opinion as to how this club should be run, <laughs> and they usually they usually let management or some of the staff know about it uh, during the course of the year. Uh, I, I think governance is really important, and I, I, I like that idea that, that, that John Atchison espoused, and, and I think that succeeding boards have certainly picked up on, and, and now with a new uh, set of articles of association, we're going ahead with uh, uh, a, a clearer vision of that. I think it's important for us board members to understand exactly what our role is <coughs> at the board level. Um, it, it's not about taking out the tree on <laughs> on number two uh, or the one on number ten, but uh, uh, it, it, it is providing oversight and ensuring that we <coughs> instruct our management as to as to what we want them to do. On another, another note, what I I guess I uh, I always thought that uh, after that uh, development of a, a new course and now a new clubhouse. Uh, that Windermere would maybe get a little higher uh, profile in terms of uh, tournaments that we have. And I, I would hope that, that uh, Windermere maybe could uh, get into that uh, 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 or investigate that uh, with respect to maybe some kind of provincial or national uh, type of championship uh, in Canada. I think, it would, I think it's the kind of club that could do that. It might not have the uh, facility for spectators, but uh, certainly has the playability as far as the course is concerned for, for that kind of class. And it would be, be nice to see. Very good. Thank you very much, Ken. Now, I, I really <coughs> spoke for a long time like that because I knew that Ken always <laughs> yeah. wouldn't say Because <laughs> he's been saying something all along. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I'm silent. Yeah. You used all of Ken's time there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Two Ken's in one. Yeah, that's bad. Okay. All right, well, thank you. I'm honored to be part of this uh, special group. Uh, I was on the board in, uh, I think, about 1987. I left after a year and a half because I was expecting Zach. Uh, so that was 22 years ago when I left. Um, he ended up uh, playing as a junior for a while. Uh, my daughter just liked the hot dogs on number 10, so she didn't do much of a golf career. So they're both uh, finishing university now. Um, I joined in, I think, about 86, starting in Canada. And I uh, have always, I do feel from the beginning I made the right choice. Uh, in terms of personal, I, uh, I'm an Alberta born girl, Northern Alberta. I met Rod and Nate in 1969 or something. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, went on to university. I am not an accountant. <laughs> uh, have my own business, had since 1979, so I deem myself to be unemployable. Uh, have been entrepreneurial all my life uh, and managed to make a, at least enough money to pay for that degree of green music. Uh, looking forward to, uh, when I was on the board last time, I think our biggest challenge was whether or not we we're going to have greens to play on uh, in retrospect to what has happened since then. Uh, looking forward to uh, more challenges, i.e. the water line and the expenditures in the construction industry. Uh, uh, good life. Um, yep. Have no complaints. Very good. Thank you very much, Miguel and Helka, and welcome as well. Uh, Ken, and you're good, Ken, are you? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> well, <here's Ken's> <laughs> <complaints about you. clears throat> so now we've got some retiring board members that are going to be with us. And Dave, um, we're still waiting for the. I think so. Okay. All right. Well, maybe what I'll do is. No, we're not. We're not. Okay. <laughs> And the first person that I would like to uh, <clears throat> bring forward would be our ladies' executive president, Rachel Chung. She's been an active participant and a strong advocate for ladies throughout the meetings. But tell me you'll be happy to know that, that she has been a strong voice for us. Uh, it's great to now to see a female on the board after so many years. <clears throat> Changes have happened with the ladies' executive and policies. Underneath uh, Rachel's watch there this year, so. Uh, you know, she's really made a difference both here on the board and with your own executive committee. So, if I get Sean, please, to bring up, or no. Dave's coming. Dave's coming with yeah. a gift for you. Oh. And he's wrapping right. it. Well, it's coming. He's wrapping it. He's wrapping it himself. Nice. Dave's coming. Dave didn't draw a subject. There you go. Oh, thank you very much. Please say it. I don't have too much to say. I, uh, as I said uh, during the Christmas party dinner, I really enjoy attending the board meeting, and I think I learn a lot about the business, about the clubs, and then meet a lot of uh, people that I don't know who they are. Now I know who they are, so I can butt them with the course. Um, and I like to learn a lot about business and about how much discussion that you guys have and try to make the best out of it for the clubs. And I thank you for all the work that you guys are doing. Very good. One of the first people that isn't here today, but I will say a few things about him is Neil Allen, who's done an incredible contribution. He's been on the board for six years. He was one of the leads in building this beautiful clubhouse. I can recall the, my first year on the board, Neil would be coming to the board meetings and he'd be stressed out about exposure for the club. and making sure about permits, he was making sure about budgets, he was making sure about timelines. But I was always impressed how we kept moving things forward. <clears throat> Neil was also our secretary for two years, and for the four years that I've been on the board, he has been one of our top researchers. If there's a topic regarding our articles, or whether it's regarding something, whether we're offsite with Revenue Canada, or with charity, or nonprofit, Neil always had a long email coming out, the next morning after our board meeting. So I, I always appreciated Neil making sure that we were always on side with that. I recall one time, I believe that he was secretary and I was vice president, so that would have been two or three years ago. And uh, we were hitting balls, and there was kind of a white elephant in the room about one of the topics that we were having during our board meetings. And he, we sat down on the bench, I sat down on the bench, and then he came over and he sat down beside me. We sat there for about a minute, 
And I could tell that I wanted to say something to him, and he wanted to say something to me. And he just looked over and he says, Kirk, so what do you think of, and that was the talk we were talking about at the board meeting, and go, Neil, thank you for bringing it up first. And we both had a laugh and uh, had a great conversation for that afterwards. Didn't always, we haven't always agreed, but we always haven't disagreed either. And, uh, that's one of the healthy things about our board, is that we always have an opinion, and we always discuss, and we always move forward. My only regret with Neil, is that I was never able to convince him to be president. Uh, for two years, I tried to get him to move forward, but uh, he was really uh, consumed by the clubhouse and did a lot of work for us. So his contribution will always be remembered, and it was a great six years with Neil. So we'll make sure that he gets his picture, and let's give a hand for him. Yeah. Our next board member that will be retiring is Sean Hennessy, who has been on the board for three years. He served as a clubhouse committee chairman. He served this year as vice president and also as chairman of the GM search committee. I remember actually asked Sean if he wanted to come on the board way back four years ago, I guess now. And uh, he said, yeah, sure, I'll give it a shot. And the first year I get phone calls, Kirk, I don't think I'm involved enough. I don't think, I'm, I don't feel like I'm part of it enough. And I said, don't worry, Sean, <laughs> you will be. And uh, now that you've been uh, part of it, Sean, you've always made a a big contribution uh, to the discussion. You've always spoke with weight. Uh, and you also, your legal expertise has always been something that's been a great asset to us in you know, a lot of different topics that we've done. So I do thank you for that. Some of the most interesting phone conversations I've had on the board have been with Sean. And he's not only passionate on the golf course, but he can also be very passionate in a discussion. So I've always appreciated that about you, Sean. And you're going to be missed. And again, thank you very much for your contribution to help the winning room move forward. Be very brief. Um, it's uh, been a pleasure to be able to serve on the board. It's uh, been uh, both uh, a learning experience in terms of what goes on behind the scenes, uh, but I think also that leaves me with an appreciation for um, the work that's involved and the commitment that uh, the board members uh, make uh, to assisting with uh, the functioning of the club. Um, I, uh, interest, various interesting experience, certainly it was a pleasure to be involved in the, uh, in the GM uh, search committee and thankful that I was given the opportunity to be involved in that process. I thank Kirk for um, allowing me to act as Vice President uh, for the year, so thank you for that because that uh, offered me even more of an opportunity, I think, to, to see things in a, in a, in a different light. Uh, it's been great to be able to meet uh, the existing board members and the members that have come and gone uh, during the time that I've uh, been here. Uh, I think that uh, during the time that I've been involved with the board, I think there's been some uh, real accomplishments and uh, I'm confident that uh, things are going to continue with, uh, with the, uh, both the existing board members and the new board members that have, uh, have come on. So uh, thank you. Past president, 
I'm sure he's looking forward to a lot less meetings and a lot more golf. Um, he's chaired numerous committees, uh, and he was also a big part of the governance committee, which is a, a real blueprint for us moving forward. And it's very important. On a personal note, Cal was the first uh, chairman of the first committee, the Golf Activities Committee, or was it Membership Committee, Cal? What was the name of it again? Uh, at the time, it was Membership Committee. Membership yeah. Committee. Yeah. And, uh, I can fondly remember we used to have our meetings downstairs in the uh, maintenance shed in the lunchroom. And I thought, well, this is kind of interesting to be on the board and down in the maintenance shed in the lunchroom. <laughs> it wasn't quite the picture I had. That was, that was only after the roof leaked. Between the clubhouse, <laughs> right over our boardroom, so we went in. Uh, Cal asked me to be vice president a couple of years ago, and it, uh, that was probably one of the most enjoyable years that I had. Like Sean said, it allowed me to come into the see so and have a full appreciation and understanding of everything that was happening. So I really appreciate Cal for giving me that opportunity. Cal always brought his business acumen as well to the meetings, um, both with his real estate and just generally running a business. And uh, always was a, a great contributor to our meetings. And being a president of any organization or board isn't always easy, and it takes an incredible amount of commitment. The only we're lucky to have Cal to have stepped up. In 2012, to be our president, and we will be missing you, Cal, but we'll also be seeing you on the golf course too. Mr. Cal Lane. Well, Rachel and uh, Sean stole my speech. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, when I first got onto the board, uh, the big, my big. Uh, reason for getting onto the board was I wanted a new clubhouse and I didn't think I wanted to wait until I was too old to enjoy our clubhouse. <laughs> so I talked to a lot of people before I got onto the board as to why I was running and then once I got onto the board uh, pushed it forward and through my context and my wife's context and we wanted this to, to happen and hey, especially with Neil Havlon's help, but uh, the, there was a <clears throat> a large group of people that uh, really did a heck of a number on getting the, the clubs together. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. so I was happy to be part of that. And then, of course, working with uh, Ken Rolls on the governance committee was a highlight. But uh, also working, I don't know how many people uh, I've been uh, involved with on the board, probably, yeah, I don't know, 30, I guess, or 35. Yeah. Uh, so I've, got, I've had an opportunity to, to meet in a different light and to really to get to know a lot of very nice people, everybody, and not only from this club, but from the Derrick and from other clubs. As, as a president, we, we've moved around. Well, uh, because of the uh, <clears throat> camaraderie with the, uh, the Derrick and the, the little tur mini tournament, I've got an opportunity to meet a lot of other people. And uh, I've really enjoyed uh, meeting and getting to know the, the golf business. I don't think I want to be in the golf business. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, the, I was mentioning to Rachel that uh, this is new for me as well. Six years ago, it was new for me to be a part of a board. I, you know, uh, when I was president of other, you know, community boards, or was on the board, you did everything. And then when we got onto this board, we just came to a meeting and Darlene did everything, like the, the minutes, because when you're on a small little community board, you have to take the minutes, then you have to send the minutes, you have to do everything. Well, Darlene did everything. I thought, this was just going to be great. You know? <laughs> but as, as the meetings uh, get uh, more intense and as you get more involved, it, it becomes uh, more interesting all the time. And I must say, it was interesting. It was very, very interesting. But uh, hard. It, the, the biggest difference, of course, in, my, in being a board member versus owning your own business is the ability to make a decision. <laughs> yeah, trying to uh, move people around is, is, is difficult. I find in my own, my own business, I can tell people what to do. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Anyway, it's been, a, it's been a very, very enjoyable experience, and uh, I thank you for allowing me to be a president, past president, sitting on board. Look forward to golfing with you guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
think Cal was the one that painted the right picture. Well, yeah. Very good. All right, Cal. Hey, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good meeting.
Comments on the minutes? February 20th? Hearing none. Moving to point five. Business arising from the February 25th, 2014 annual general meeting. I'd just like to make a comment. I understand that we probably have about the same amount of people for the Tuesday uh, evening AGM as we had for like a Sunday afternoon AGM. I would say probably 10 or 15 less, but yeah. I, I would also make just an observation. I've been to maybe six of them over the 20 years that I've been a member, and I thought that one went very smoothly. You know, like I think the board was well prepared, the questions were well prepared. There were some tough questions from the floor. I think the answers were, I thought it was just a yeah. very smooth operation. Oh, yeah. kudos, kudos to everybody here, and kudos to Darlene and Dave, because I thought it was really well handled. I agree with that. I didn't go the 18, and I'd say it was probably the best, and the least acrimonious and most yeah. professional. I think it went very well. <clears throat> yeah, that's all I've heard too from different yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. As for the timing of it, um, I've, I've heard uh, pluses on both sides. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was kind of un uncertain which way yeah. the mm -hmm. kind of flow or the feeling was as to middle of the week or the Sunday kind of thing. So, yeah. thank you. I do have a question. I'm just curious. You know, what percentage of our voting was done online versus in person? I'm assuming it was 90-10. 90. 90. 90. So every major decision was decided before people entered the room. Yeah, which is normally the case. Yeah. yeah. And that's good. The package was very good. I thought the package was comprehensive. Good. If I can ask a question, what percentage of people actually voted for our membership of our shares? Would you say a 10? Oh, yeah, we had 25 or 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 You'll have to give thought to um, your next AJ will be in June, mm -hmm. so you'll have to give some thought to we. Yeah, obviously, there's an A and men's A. You get the idea, right? Yeah. There's a lady there. You'll have to yeah. give some thought to that. Yeah. Good point, Dave. Next AJ in June. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right. Very good. Point six: Election of 2014 Board Officers. <clears throat> the first. Position that is up for election is our president, and <clears throat> one nomination that the board has accepted is Mr. Dale Somerville. And I'll ask from the floor if there's any people who want to run for president. Asking once, twice, three times. Hearing no one, I officially induct Mr. Dale Somerville. Is our 2014 president? <laughs> Mr. President, I will pass you the floor for your remarks. Thank you. Well, first of all, I want to thank uh, Kurt for uh, doing a great job last year, getting us through some tough times. And uh, I also want to thank last year's officers, uh, Henry, Sean, and thank you, Rod, because uh, Rod wrote on the chin there quite a bit for the food and beverage debacle. And uh, he picked his chin up and took a few shots, and we appreciate that. <laughs> and uh, I want to thank all of you for volunteering to serve Windermere for this upcoming year. It's uh, going to be an exciting year, a fun year, I think. There's been some big hurdles that have been we skated through, and we've got a few projects to do around, and uh, we can focus our attention on being that uh, golfer's club of choice in Edmonton and in uh, Alberta, frankly. And uh, I'm also looking forward to a great year with our management team and uh, hats off especially to Dave here for doing some serious recruiting over the last little while and to some of his staff that have been recruiting to make sure we have people in the pro shop and, uh, and food and beverage and, uh, and for Glenn uh, hopefully having enough people to maintain the course to the level that we are trying to get at. So if Mother Nature cooperates, which I understand we got lucky with the leaving the snow on the greens there when we had that dip in the temperature, yep. we're going to be looking for uh, another successful year when we're And I look forward to working with all of you, and thanks for trusting me with this responsibility. <laughs> and uh, this time it's customary to uh, go through the remaining uh, officers and uh, 
the vice president, uh, Ken Knowles has uh, agreed to put his name forward. And uh, are there any nominations for any other uh, people who wish to run for vice president? Asking once, twice, three times. Ken, welcome as our <laughs> vice president. <laughs> I assume your speech will be as long as your last one was. <laughs> Huh. Yeah. Anyway, he's been in touch with Jason today. 